Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel Scienceaholic with Nisha. In today's video, I am going to explain about tonicity in my way. Right? So tonicity. In last video, I have explained about the difference between osmosis and diffusion. And if you have not seen that video, the link is given in description box below. So let's start the video. Tonicity. What is tonicity? Now tonicity is a measure of the water pressure inside of a cell as compared to the water pressure outside of the cell. So tonicity kya hoti hai students? It's just a measurement of water pressure. Cell ke andar water ka pressure kitna hai as compared to the pressure outside of the cell. It's called tonicity. It is influenced only by the substance that cannot cross the membrane. That is solute. Solute ek aisa substance hota hai jo membrane se cross nahi kar sakta and usi ke upar tonicity depend karti hai. Substances able to freely cross the membrane do not affect tonicity. Like water, water can freely move from in out of the cell. So, uske upar tonicity depend nahi karti. Because they will always be in equal concentration on both sides of the membrane. Now here, what is concentration? So, let's understand concentration through this image. Now, uh, par dekh rahe image mein ab, there is a glass of water, usme salt hai. So, salt it's called solute, that water is called solvent. And the mixture of salt and water, it's called solution. So, these are the three terms. So, what is concentration? Concentration is the amount of solute dissolved in volume of solvent. Jitna bhi aapne solvent liya hai, that is water. Water mein kitna salt dissolve hua hai, it's called concentration. The more solute in a solution, the more concentrated it is. Solution mein jitna zada solute aap add karenge, wo solution utna zada concentrated hota jayega. So, this is called Concentration. Now, there are three types. Let's understand first, hypotonic solution. Now, what is hypotonic solution? The solute concentration is greater inside the cell. Now, in this beaker, you can see a cell rakha hua hai and cell ke andar ka jo solute ka concentration hai, that is higher. Right? Cell ke andar ka concentration high hone se kya hoga? Jo water hai bahar, jo solution rakha hua hai, wo move karna start karega to maintain the equilibrium because solute can't move. Solute to jo hota hai, wo cell ke membrane se cross nahi kar paata. So water move karega in and out and because of that, cell jo hoga, wo swell up ho jayega. So this process is called hemolysis. Ye process kya hoti hai, jab cell water absorb karke, jab size mein bada ho jata hai and that process is called hemolysis, right? Hemolysis. Now let's see, water will flow inside of the cell. Cell ke andar water move karega because solute can't move. So, bahar ki taraf se water andar aega and water andar aane se cell swell up ho jayega. So, net water movement kya hooga into the cell. Cell ke andar gaya water. So, result kya mila? Cell swell up ho gaya. Hemolysis ke process ke through. So, this is called hypotonic solution. Means solution, jo diluted hota hai, that is hypotonic. Now, there are so many examples of hypotonic solution, that is tap water, pure water. So, these are the examples of hypotonic. Now, let's see second type, hypertonic solution. Hyper se samaj mein aara hai, koi cheez zada amount mein hoti hai, that is hyper. So, hyper se aapko bas yaad rakhna hai, hyper means zada, more. The solute concentration is greater outside the cell than the inside the cell. So, यहाँ बीकर में आप देख रहे हैं एक सेल रखा हुआ है एंड सेल एक सॉल्यूशन में है तो सॉल्यूशन में जो सॉल्यूट का कंसंट्रेशन है दैट इज मोर सॉल्यूशन में जो सॉल्यूट का कंसंट्रेशन है वो मोर है सो so वाटर जो होगा मूव करना स्टार्ट करेगा सेल से आउटसाइड बिकॉज़ टू मेंटेन द इक्विलिब्रियम वाटर बाहर पुल आउट हो जाएगा एंड बिकॉज़ ऑफ दैट सेल जो होगा वो श्रिंक हो जाएगा साइज में छोटा हो जाएगा बिकॉज़ उसका वाटर निकल चुका है सो सिंस द सॉल्यूट कैन नॉट पास द सेल मेम्ब्रेन बट वाटर कैन then water will flow outside of the cell in an attempt to reach the concentration equilibrium between inside and outside of the cell. So last mein kya hoga? Net water movement kya hoga? Out of the cell. Cell se bahar ki taraf water aaya. Because of that, cell shrink in size. Wo size mein shrink ho gaya. And that process is called crenation. Crenation is the process where cell shrinks. So there are so many examples of hypertonic solution like 5% dextrose. 0.45% sodium chloride, sea water, sugary drinks, these are some examples of hypertonic. Now let's see third type, isotonic solution. Now isotonic solutions kya hote hai? The concentration of the solute in water is the same inside the cell as outside in the beaker. 
सो so, इस टाइप के सोल्यूशन में क्या होता है जो कॉन्सेंट्रेशन सल्यूट का होता है वो दोनों साइड सेम होता है सेल के अंदर भी और सोल्यूशन में भी सो देर इज़ नो नीड टू मेनटेन द इक्लिब्रियम सो मूवमेंट वाटर का नहीं होता सो द मूवमेंट जो होगा नेट वाटर मूवमेंट इन टू द सेल इक्वल्स टू आउट ऑफ द सेल सेम रहेगा एंड एंड ऑफ द रिजल्ट जैसा हमने सेल रखा था सोल्यूशन में एज इट इज हमको मिलेगा ना हम वो श्रिंक होगा और ना वो स्वेल होगा सो दिस इज कॉल्ड आइसोटोनिक सोल्यूशन नाउ देर आर सो मेनी एग्जाम्पल्स ऑफ आइसोटोनिक ब्लड जीरो पॉइंट नाइन परसेंट एन ए सी एल जीरो पॉइंट फाइव परसेंट डेक्सट्रोज दीज ऑल आर एग्जाम्पल्स ऑफ आइसोटोनिक सोल्यूशन इफ यू लाइक दिस वीडियो डोंट फर्गेट टू हिट द लाइक बटन एंड डू सब्सक्राइब माई चैनल साइंस वॉलिंग बाई फॉर नाउ